And now in your 17 Health Watch, the Valley Fever Walk kicked off at CSUB on the Don Hart Drive East Lawn this morning, where a family is still in mourning. The Valley Fever Walk is more than just a stroll. It's a chance to raise awareness and save lives. Everyone's exposed and some, some people get sicker than others and we don't know why. People gathered at CSUB on the Don Hart Drive lawn to walk and educate others about the fungal infection known as Valley Fever. And the complications can include anything from a pneumonia to skin infections to uh, multi-organ infections all the way to your brain. Kern County is the epicenter of the disease, representing over 10% of all cases nationwide. Since September, we've had our largest number of uh, cases uh, ever recorded. The walk supports research at the Valley Fever Institute where more patients are treated annually than anywhere else in the world. If you've had an illness and you're still sick after you've completed your antibiotics or you just feel sicker than you've ever been or it's longer than you've been, ask your doctor to test you for Valley Fever and continue to ask your doctor to test you until you've recovered or until you get a diagnosis. To mitigate the risk, you can wear a mask, change your cabin air filter, and limit your exposure to dust outside. The doctor was saying um, it was impressive how he was recovering really fast. And then after that, one day just went downhill from there. Aiden Garcia came to honor his tío, Steven Espinoza. Espinoza was diagnosed with Valley Fever in October. He died March 8th. Now his nephew wants to knock out Valley Fever once and for all. Theo, me and all of our family miss you. Theo misses you very very much and your kids and your grandkids miss you very much and I miss you too really much even your best friends like Theo Fernando and my dad and Theo Wani we all miss you very much 